Experiencing a frozen screen or no audio in your Kia Nero's infotainment system? You're not alone. These issues are common, especially in models before 2022. These problems often appear on the infotainment display, as shown here with the central screen and controls. The main causes are software bugs, memory overload, or hardware glitches in the infotainment system's ECU, particularly in older models. First, try a simple reset. Hold the power button for 10 to 15 seconds while the car is off. This clears temporary data and often resolves the issue. If that doesn't work, navigate to the settings menu and perform a soft reset, as shown in this vehicle settings screen. For no audio issues, check Bluetooth or HDMI connections and reset audio settings to restore functionality. If these steps don't resolve the issues, proceed to the next section for more advanced fixes and solutions. When basic resets aren't enough, advanced fixes become necessary. Let's explore USB firmware updates and future solutions for your Kia Nero's infotainment system. First, perform a USB firmware update. Visit kia.com to download the latest firmware for your specific Nero model. Load it onto a USB drive, then insert the drive into your car's USB port. Follow the on-screen prompts to complete the update, ensuring your vehicle remains stationary throughout the process. For newer models like the 2022 and later Nero EV, Kia offers over-the-air updates. These wireless updates automatically address issues such as screen freezing by applying stability patches directly to your vehicle's system. When software updates aren't sufficient, a visit to your Kia dealership is recommended. Professional technicians can perform hardware diagnostics to identify and fix deeper issues with your infotainment system. Looking ahead, Kia is developing standardized AI-assisted diagnostics. These will enable real-time issue detection through telematics, providing proactive solutions. For now, the key to maintaining your infotainment system's health is staying current with firmware updates and performing regular resets.